Hello my loves, welcome to your soul star chakra balancing video. Today's video has been requested by, I forgot your name, I'm sorry, but I'll put it here on the screen. And before we get started in today's video, I want to let you know that I will be tapping on things, I'll be using my singing bowl, striking matches, so if any of these ASMR triggers will prevent you from falling asleep, then check the playlist linked above here. That playlist has videos that are dedicated to sleep, to help you fall asleep, and that don't have any of those harsher sounds. Alright, today I'm going to be talking and doing some Reiki on you. I'm going to be talking about the Soul Star Chakra. And I really want to take some time here in the intro to delve a little bit deeper than I usually do into the topic of this chakra because the chakra is a bit more complex, I would say. So, if you're just here for the ASMR and the Reiki, skip to the time code here um, to get into it. If you are going to go with me here through the introduction and the more sort of talky bit, then make yourself comfortable. Grab a cup of tea, a biscuit, or a cookie. So your soul star chakra is located about 15 to 30 centimeters above your head. So it's not in your physical body, but it's still within your auric field. And the way I like to envision the chakra is kind of like a pocket of energy, a pocket of information. Um, some people also call it the seat of the soul because in the chakra, you're able to access information about your soul, whether it's past lifetimes that you've been through, um, or things about your present life, things like soul contracts and karmic relationships, those kind of things. Um, I was a little bit hesitant at first about making a video on the soul star chakra, it is such a powerful seat of energy that if we open it up and we open it up too much, it might be overwhelming to gain all that information and knowledge and insight all at once. So my intention for today's video is that only and only the information that is beneficial to you comes through. So we want to open the chakra just enough, open the gateway just enough for those little drips of information to come through that will help us, will be beneficial to us. So if you currently feel like you are stuck on something, you can't see the bigger picture in a situation, you're unable to um, see how things fit together, then hopefully at the end of this video, um, some of that information will have kind of trickled down from your soul star chakra. And while we're working on the chakra, I wanted to make use of the opportunity since we're in that space to also help you rewire um, your brain and your nervous system and that is because as I said earlier the soul star chakra houses information about our soul contracts and karmic relationships and the so let's start with that the soul contracts are basically if you don't know big themes big lessons that we have agreed to before we came into a physical body that 
we were going to experience, we were going to go through to help our soul evolve and grow. And what I've noticed for myself and the people around me is that a lot of times this growth, like the big growth lessons that we go through aren't the most comfortable. They can be quite uncomfortable and disruptive a lot of times it's because we didn't listen the first time so the way I see it is that the universe will give you a little hint that something in your life is out of alignment or something in your life is ready to evolve into something else and a lot of times, you know, we're busy with things and we think, oh, I can wait just a little niggle, like it's easy to push down and not look further into it, so we push it away and then it kind of comes back around into a slightly bigger form and a lot of times we go through that cycle a couple of times until this small little niggle has turned into a massive wall <laughs> that we crash into or something very destructive as a sort of like final warning call to draw our attention towards that thing that we're not looking at so a lot of us go through this process this sort of template of growth where it's this cyclical thing and if we don't learn from the first cycle no worries it'll come back <laughs> And we can learn again, right? But how much easier would life be if we took the opportunity the first time around to grow and to actually listen to whatever that thing is trying to tell us? How much more would our life be flowing and filled with more ease? So I think we get stuck in those patterns because we're afraid of discomfort, we're afraid to maybe look at certain things and put a mirror in front of ourselves metaphorically and um, really honestly look at ourselves and our patterns and the things that we're doing to hinder our own growth towards energetic wholeness coming back to ourselves, whatever you want to call it so today's video, I want to use it also as an opportunity to reframe discomfort reframe that little niggle um, and take away, or maybe not take away, but lessen the fear that we have around discomfort so that the soul contracts that we came into and the karmic relationships um, don't have to get as disruptive and like cataclysmic if that makes sense <laughs> because even though we come into this life with soul contracts if we learn through them the first time around or maybe the second time around a certain relationships or certain events don't even have to come into our lives anymore because we learned about it the first time so in that sense we're kind of helping our future self if that makes sense I hope all of this makes sense um, it's almost like we choose the hardest way of growing instead of yeah, really stepping into that discomfort allowing the confrontation to be a good thing and to be experienced as a good thing so that's what we're rewiring today as well so if you're dealing with repeating patterns that you want to heal then this video is also really good for you so alright <laughs> that was a very long intro Let's go into the Reiki and Crystal Healing to help you reconnect with your soul star chakra So, 
for today. I actually pulled out my Palo Santo, which I rarely pull out. Um, I only use it in like really sacred ceremony, ceremonies, ceremonies, ceremonies. Um, so yeah, I think today's. I might strike one more match to get a bit of a bigger um, fire going on here. energy to enter you there. 
feel how it reshuffles things, activates your chakra there, your energy points. And then moving up to your crown, which is located at the top of your head. Here as well. Bring your attention to the top of your head. And you can imagine your satellite dish, so to say, opening up, kind of like a flower, like a lotus flower. Getting ready to receive in information from your soul star chakra.
opening up energetically some of these connections and if you really want to make the most use out of today's session I invite you to bring something to mind that you want to heal something that you would like a fresh perspective on just imagine those little cords of energy opening up and again, just enough to allow the right information to reach you really good stay connected to your soul star chakra really start feeling into it and you can ask it any questions again, it's part of you it's not something that's like way out there so really feel into it and while you do that I will be using the singing pool You could be asking your higher self here, your soul, for guidance, for illumination on a certain event or topic. some of that energy to settle in allow it to ground into physicality and while we're in this space of higher connectedness we're going to reprogram your nervous system, your brain to not shy away from discomfort to see discomfort as an opportunity for growth for healing so I'll be using this blue chalcedony point to retrace new neural connections so. one thing, a quote that has stuck with me for a few years now 
I can't remember where I got it from or who I got it from is that we make hard decisions right now life will be easier down the road but if we make easy decisions right now life will be harder down the road so sometimes it takes a little bit of self-discipline and honesty to make that hard decision and to lean into that discomfort knowing that in the long run it's actually really going to benefit you a lot and doing that is the quickest way to grow We make an easy decision right now by deciding to not look at something, to shy away from discomfort. That pattern will come back, it'll cycle back into our orbit in a much sort of harder frequency, if that makes sense. And then we'll have to deal with it. all about self-responsibility and doing what's hard so that we may live an easier life so while you're in the middle of the chaos in the middle of the discomfort Remind yourself of the favor that you're doing yourself. What a blessing to your future self that you're working on it now. You're only going to benefit from it. There. Last crystal. For today's session is Fuchsite. This is such a magical crystal. This one is great for emotional healing, dealing with trauma of all sorts. So I want to connect you to this frequency a moment to look at the crystal, connect in with it, imagine you could energetically tap into this crystal, becoming one with it. We're going to use the frequency of this crystal to ease the pain as we heal to help us confront our traumas in a loving, compassionate way taking responsibility for our pain taking responsibility by working through it and not shoving it under the carpet, so to say it's a real act of self-love to face our demons and to work through them so I'm just going to run the energy all along your nervous system bring that element of healing to fluff your aura 
And then in a second, we are also going to close the pathways that we've created with our soul star chakra. But we're just going to close them at the sort of junction between our crown chakra and our soul star chakra. We're going to do that in a bit. So that they're still open on the other side. The only thing we have to do is bring our intention our energy towards it to open it so that you have easy access to it whenever you need to but it's good to have it closed for now so that it's not constantly um, bringing information and energy down because that might be overwhelming but let's first kind of fluff up your aura make it a bit bigger and stronger You can open them at any time. It's all under your control. You just have to bring your intention to opening it. So bringing your attention to it. So, I hope that you enjoyed today's video. If you like to leave a comment, then please do. And don't forget to subscribe and like if you feel called to do so. I'll see you guys very soon for... 